So here is some stupid ass bitch. Uh, his he's the New York State Democratic Party chairman, Jay Jacobs, and uh, he is commenting on the uh, Democratic nominee India Walton uh, for Buffalo mayoral race. This is his, uh, this is what he's got to say on the Democratic nominee for the mayor of Buffalo. Let's listen. I think it it then leads you to the question: Is it always a requirement? of a democratic elected official or perhaps the state chair or party chairs is it a requirement that if someone wins the democratic primary they must always get the democratic uh, endorsement of these people now uh, again this is the same fucking stupid ass fucking cocksucker bullshit that these motherfuckers were floating when bernie sanders was looking like the being uh the democratic nominee for the 2020 run um like all these people say, oh, well, you know, I'll support Trump or I'll vote their party or, you know, whatever. Like this is the same bullshit. They don't want people that actually care about humans. The Democratic Party is a scam, folks, right? It's a fucking cringe club. It's like a mobster fucking like circle jerk. Like all these motherfuckers are just trying to steal money from poor people and just funnel it into their fucking families, you know, give their fucking friends tax breaks, give their friends contracts. It's all a giant fucking disaster. You know, I fucking hate Democrats. Democrats for the most part. But again, the Democratic Party is the ostensibly left-wing party in the United States. I mean, we have a far-right neo-fascist openly praising Adolf Hitler party, that is the Republican Party, and then the Democrats are basically the far-right not openly praising Hitler party. Remember, folks, Madison Cawthorn went on vacation to, uh, you know, his favorite uh, favorite fellow, the Fuhrer. He called him the Fuhrer. Yeah, that's right. He went to vacation at Adolf uh, Hitler's fucking vacation homes or whatever the fuck, right? And he did this huge thing he's also planning january 6 part two right so the republicans are fucking crazy motherfuckers right so basically we're in a situation where they got us by the balls the republicans are going to kill us all and the democrats are just going to bleed us out they're going to like fucking cut us on the ankles and then flip us upside down or some shit i don't know what the hell that means or what i'm saying cut us on the wrists i guess is what but either way let's continue um and, and that that question i would answer no it's it's not look let's take a, a scenario a very different where David Duke, you remember him, the Grand Wizard of the KKK? He moves to New York, he becomes a Democrat, and he runs for mayor in the city of Rochester, which has a low primary turnout, and he wins the Democratic line. I have to endorse David Duke? I don't think so. Now, of course, in Walton isn't in the same category, but it just, it just leads you to that question, is it a must? It's not a must. Um, it's something you choose to do. That's why it's an endorsement. Other, otherwise, they call it something else, like a requirement. I think it, it. So yeah, this guy's a fucking stupid ass piece of shit, and I think I'm pretty sure that this guy uh, is. You know, there's calls for him to resign over this, and that's pretty good. But I mean, like seriously, this is what we're dealing with in the United States of goddamn America. India Walton, right, is running. She's not like she's running on the basic principles that people should be allowed to eat food. <gasps> Whoa. AOC called for him to resign. That's great. Wow. Okay. So kids shouldn't starve. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Are you. St wait. Roads shouldn't be filled with potholes. <gasps> oh my. God. Oh, fuck. That's crazy. It's basically like David Duke. I mean, again, these motherfuckers are absolutely fucking insane. Like, it's it's incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. So for those of you that don't know what's going on with Indo India Walton, she won the Democratic primary against the incumbent. I believe his name is Byron Brown. And now Byron Brown has been trying to uh, run for third party. But there is like some sort of clause, I think, that's like, you know, there's no sore loser clause. So you can't run in a primary and then, you know, lose and then run third party later. I'm pretty sure that there's something somewhere that says that and so he was trying to make that happen